one thing about leaders, they don't have the time to explain the bigger picture. My son, if you don't see the bigger picture in this, I don't know how to explain it to you. I don't. I see the, the picture that you paint is fucked. This is kids it's right what I'm, it's what I'm saying is this. I already anticipated all the backlash before I walked into this. I knew this was going to happen. Okay. I'm fool because guess what? When there's emotions that spark up, that means it's something worth talking about. When there's emotions that spark up, that means this is something that really means something to people. They really take this seriously, right? Which is great. And I needed to know, at the end of the day, how invested that we are in our own communities. Because when you have somebody like Six has that much influence in our younger generation, with the mind state that he has right now and how he was taught to think that that's what that is, and we just will let that slide and nobody corrects him? And you saying, but you because, not, bitch, hold no, on. You, you, hold on, hold on, not, hold on, let me finish, let me finish. And you saying, because he snitched, he doesn't have the right to that information that he has to have? It's crazy to me. But Con, you're not giving him, yo, you just empowering, you ain't giving him information. A lot of OG niggas that you pull I'm, them to the have conversation. I'm, Six nine is already empowered. This motherfucker has over two hundred million fans. You don't empower somebody like that. He always has. He already has the yep. power. All you I'm trying to manage that power to make sure it goes in the right direction, my nigga. What you saying that this is sad? Haven't you? You sound like these little young internet niggas now that make it believe that because you got two hundred niggas, thousand niggas, million niggas on Instagram that you somebody. You you really you you yeah. it, you confuse I mean, you confuse real life. life with Yo, you confusing no, real life. Huh? You know, hey, that information man. is more hey. power. Than you know, so I gotta make sure he's filled with the right information when he has oh. all that. You oh. can't have that many people and feeding the wrong information. Or bad, I, you. you, you, don't you, let you, you do that. I gotta make sure you. information. It's important. No, no, it's more important. That shit's more important than what I'm building because. What I'm building is for tomorrow's generation. And I can't build what I'm building for tomorrow's generation to have the same mentality as Takashi as what he has today. We can't. He got, he we got can't. You just, it's like it's like this, right? You gave you 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 committed yourself and you gave first of all, you disrespected Styles P. Whoa, 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 whoa. First whoa, of all, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You, 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 <laughs> violated, you violated Styles P. Hold you on, took bro. That he made a classic and put a rat on it, knowing uh, how anti-ratty you you violated Styles P. So, so no, 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 I'm just I'm just being honest with you. I'm telling I'm great. You you want to get on? I want to have a real conversation. You violated Styles P. Completely. No. Okay. So first of all, locked up is a classic. Can't classic. nobody wreck it up. Period. That record made for those that you know that's like me, that's like you. That's for them. That can never be tainted or ever be disrespected because that's what we do. That's our life. That's what we experience and share, share with the world, what we have to go through at that moment in time. Nobody can take that away from us. This generation is totally different. Clearly, he was, hold on, let me finish. Clearly, he was locked up. The reasons he, was, he went in and came out, yeah, we might disagree, but he still has the right to tell his story. But until you hear his verse and hear what he's dealing with, that's real shit from his point of view. He has a right to tell that point of view. Now, anybody could have jumped on Locked Up. I agree with you. There's a lot of other niggas that's been locked up that could have got on that record. But my nigga, that record has been, it's been 16 years since I put that first record out. Ain't nobody thought to remix that shit until Takashi decided to do it. What happened to all the other 16 years when that but, record was wide open for motherfucker to get on? Because and, nobody else, nobody, because they, because, now, cause, like, yo, you don't just remix classes. Niggas ain't going, you ain't going to go cold. Go go call go call Stevie Wonder and just say tell yo Takashi Six Nine. He go look and say that nigga ain't getting on no song of mine. You think I'm a you for you crazy? That you you you. Listen what I'm trying to tell you. You did a disjust. You 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 doing disjust to your legacy as as an artist and as a man. You doing a disjustice to your legacy right now. It's a disjustice. I'm not bro. Legacy, beloved, and you do too much good shit. You out here in Africa, you doing too much good shit to taint your legacy with this but, but, bullshit, Con. You, you first, of all, you can't compare, first of all, you can't compare my social responsibilities to Six Nine. He's one yeah. of those social responsibilities that I'm dealing with right now. Because no, guess you know, what? Like, 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 like you're just trying to get a bag off the nigga now. That's what it sounds like. That's how that's what it is. You, it don't 
don't sound like a social response. You talking about he got two hundred million fans and listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Song and he got this. It sounds like you just trying to get it back. You don't. It don't sound like because if you was because right. if you had the responsibility, you would be having conversations with that nigga, make and making him do shit that was gonna move in a different direction. He ain't do nothing different. <laughs> Man, everything happens at God's time. It ain't gonna happen when everybody wanted to happen. Everybody, listen, everybody. If you really do something. It would have had to happen after. It would have had to happen before you gave him that song. Cause everybody's different. The boy went through a lot, my nigga. He's being attacked by the world of social media from the hip hop culture. That ain't something you get over overnight. Most of his time is spent defending himself from trolls, and you know that. He's so a troll. You talk, how you gonna, the man is a troll. How you gonna defend himself from himself? He created these trolls, man. He the nigga that started trolling. He created this whole culture of trolls. No, oh. listen. Oh. listen. He started this. But listen, we're living in the age of social media. This is the world we live in right now, right? We can't just grab a microphone from a podium and speak and to a direct line. What we're, about, what we're doing right now, clearly, by the end of this week, it's gonna be over a million views. So what we say is super, super important. And people have to understand that these views are parallel, even though everybody may disagree. On both sides, there's situations that people have to be able to take from a standpoint of understanding life and what it is to be a real man. The problem is everybody is living by all these rules that's supposed to make you seem cooler, uh, uh, be stronger, seem not to be a punk or no bitch-ass nigga. But, but they you know, they to make hard decisions that make everybody look at you differently even though you know it's the right decision to make and at the end of the day you make decisions that's going to always keep you close and feed your family at the end okay. of the day that's what I'm this is what I want to say right when niggas say feed your family what about the niggas family that you just gave 50 years to bro he what tried to and kidnap them what difference does it make to him question what about so listen to me you, you, put, a, you put a hit out on Chief Keith right you could have took Chief Keith's life. You yeah. got niggas shot. I'm asking you a question. What about the niggas' family who you got? You gave 40 or 50 years to? What about their family? Do they got a family? What about his kids? Of course. They all got family. But guess what? So, they just, so, but so the what does that mean? He didn't tell on you his family. He, 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 these niggas the stood up and took their time like men. They thought about their family, and you thought about yours. So you not willing because bro, you weak. Listen to me. Right? And then the symbol is. Because the nigga is too weak to deal with the consequences of his acts. It's not like when you say, yo, uh, no, listen, uh, no, listen, no, 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 no. Listen. You act like them niggas make, you act like them, you act like Takashi told them niggas to go do it, jump off a bridge, and you're going to jump off a bridge like a fucking idiot. Them niggas knew the consequences of their actions when they did it. They knew that. They knew that if, if, if I shoot at this nigga or I kill this man, I'm going to leave my family forever and I won't be able to take care of him. They knew that. And they and, and listen to me, and they did that. Listen to what I'm saying. 